Does your vote count in Missouri? Most people look at this and think Missouri is a lost cause, but elections aren't determined by popular opinion. They're determined by who shows up. So let's do some math. You can't just sit on the side! In the 2020 presidential election, Donald Trump only won Missouri by 56.8%. Meaning if only 35% of non-voters who are registered to vote, who just didn't show up, decided to come to the polls, Biden could have won Missouri. And this is even more true for the governor race. The governor race had less than 70% voter turnout, which is pretty good for a red state, but it only would have taken 26% of non-voters. These are people who are eligible to vote and registered to vote who stayed home. Only 26% of them could have flipped Missouri blue. In other words, if just over two-thirds of registered Democratic voters in Missouri went to the polls, then Missouri would have had a blue governor. And the Senate race would have been even easier. In 2022 Senate race, it would have only taken 15%, not just of all non-voters, but Democrats who stayed home. If 15% of Democratic voters who stayed home decided to come to the polls instead, then Missouri would have had a Democratic senator. And in Missouri, very few voters voted down ballot. For instance, District 2 in the House of Representatives could have been flipped with 8.16% of non-voters. The highest percentage of non-voters that it would have taken to flip a district was District 8, and only 25%, a quarter of non-voters, could have flipped District 8 blue. Democrats could easily win elections in Missouri. You just have to show up to the polls. Because as I always say, elections aren't determined by public opinion. They're determined by who shows up. Gotta vote! Exercise your right!